CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. I am at the trailhead for Viejas Mountain. And uh, this short hike, about a mile or so up. But uh, I'll get up there, see if I can't make some summit to summits with some guys, and then get back home. Do a little bit of more, more work and start the three day President's Day weekend. So, uh, let's see if I can get a picture of the mountain behind me. Um, here we go. So, there you have it. It's time to get to work. Viajas Mountain Trail is very well marked. Um, it's weird. This terrain just exudes rocks. It's nothing but the entire way. So it's a one gigantic rock pile. I will say it's easier going up than down. It's because coming down, you really have to watch for all this loose rock. Also, uh, it looks like all this rock is being held together by kind of a reddish soil, could be clay. Um, oh, so I'm guessing it gets really interesting up here when it rains hard. Um, you can see the rains come through here, obviously, but not a ton of erosion. So I'm not sure what the soil type is, but this would definitely be interesting. Okay, more rocks. Who would have thought? <laughs> Actually, it never stops. It's a good little climb coming up here. You go up to the saddle and then break left to get up to the peak. Great views, and I'm about to show them to you in just a few minutes. Beautiful view of El Cajon Mountain. The sun hits it. Would have been prettier at the sunrise, but next time. Looking down into El Cajon and then out to the coast. And we'll keep going. Out here. Bosnia. Bosnia. And uh, uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah. He almost forgot his name. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are out here training with uh, carrying a sledgehammer up the hill, sandbags. Uh, training to get ready for uh, fire, season. fire season this summer. So working yeah. for the Forest Service. Yeah. So awesome! Thanks for being out there, guys. God bless. All right, man. A couple of real nice guys uh, work for the Forest Service in the summer, just getting trained up. So you always meet a lot of nice people out here on the trail. Um, this happens to be one of the more frequented ones. Um, it is only a mile, a little over a mile to the top, I think. But, uh, nonetheless, pain in the butt. There you go. I am on a little ridge that connects three little peaks. The one you're looking at to the uh, southeast, uh, the one I'm on. And then our summit right over there. Just go through the saddle down and up, and uh, we'll be there. So probably in the activation zone now probably with another hand this would be a good location to uh, set up the second guy but uh, I'm on my own today looking down into the Viejas casino down there on the reservation beautiful day let's get back to work we are on the summit you can see behind me a little wind break uh, this has been up here for many years because um, uh, it gets pretty damn windy up here <laughs> probably a good place to spend the night if you need uh, again looking down into the reservation there via Hus casino off to the east is that a direction um i believe that's kuyamaka right there in front of us and uh swinging around north you can see the mountains north of LA there, covered in snow. Uh, El Cajon Mountain, right here. And uh, of course, 
I believe that's uh, San Vicente. Our reservoir down there. Looks pretty darn low. They must not be pumping anything in right now. Out to the coast, a little hazy. Um, you can see a cloud deck out there over the ocean. Looking down into uh, Homo Alcone, that kind of area. But uh, beautiful day up here. Um, I believe, let's see the, um, what is the temperature right now? 58 it says, but that doesn't seem right. It seems like more like 70 up here right now. Very slight breeze. Um, yeah, so let's uh, set up an antenna, fire up the radio, see what we can get. The K6ARK spider web antenna is just about set up. It is set up. Coming over here to my operating position. And a uh, little counterpoint is off that way. And uh, let's get cracking and see what we can do here. Okay, getting ready to set up shop here. Gonna spot myself on Viejas Mountain. 14, 14.058.
Uh, the sweet sound of sideband. <clears throat> We're on sideband 20 meters, so let's give this a shot. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie calling CQ, CQ, CQ on the 20 meter band. Summit's on the air for any station anywhere. Whiskey Zero Echo Romeo India. Uh, how's it going, Martha? Going pretty good. Uh, doing just fine. Just thought I'd uh, go ahead. I know we already got down the uh, CW, but I thought I'd go ahead uh, since I could hear you so well because we're a good 596 signal on sideband as well. So uh, just thought I'd give you another contact that way. Yeah, thanks a lot, Martha. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate the patience on the, the CW as well. Already 73, Martha, and I got you 5.9 up here, plus, 5.9 plus. How's it going? Good, how are you doing today, sir? Good. Okay, nice. Here, uh, did, you, did you come up that way, or which way did you? Yeah, I came up this way. Oh, well, nice. Uh, hi, yeah. I'm Robert. Robert, I'm Chris. Nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you, sir. Yeah. How's it going? Good, man. I wanted, Beautiful to day. See if I, I wanted to see if I could still make it up here. <laughs> I used to hike it when I was in the fire camp. Ah. And uh, it's good uh, good for endurance and just uh, just everything. I yeah. Haven't, I haven't did it in a while, so I just wanted to see if I could still do it. Yeah, good for you. Yeah. Which Did you come off a of willow? Uh, no? no, I came off, off that. Off the side over here? Yeah. Uh, I can't remember the name of the road. But, yeah, a bunch of cars parked oh, down cool. there. And, I didn't. I, I've never been on that side. I came off a of willow. Road okay, off. I've never done that one. Yeah, I've been up here three times on via the other one. Yeah, if you go off a of willow, and then there's. Just... All right, so I'd call that a successful activation here up on Viejas. A lot of fun. Um, worked a pile up that wasn't totally crazy on uh, 20 meters a day. I um, feel like I was able to copy call signs a little bit better today. And um, yeah, I got people from uh, certainly Kansas, the usuals in Kansas. Uh, and Martha called me on sideband, so that was cool uh, when I went up to uh, single sideband phone. Um, up into Canada, NorCal, and uh, New Zealand, 10 watts on CW. That's cool. So, um, had some visitors up here on the mountain, and uh, it's just an absolutely gorgeous day. I'm gonna go down, maybe grab some lunch, uh, do some work, and uh, see what else is going on today. But uh, a great activation. So. I'm going to be packing up and heading down the hill. Yeah, it's really weird because he's coming in. Well, I think he switched back over to his mobile. Um, but And I heard him on both radios. Did you hear him on both, Nestor? Yes, I did. Uh, the thing is that he's up in all the time. So there's another RF going on in there. Ah, I gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, yeah, and I think that might be a soda song, but I'm not sure. Um, but he must be up there doing some work, huh? Yeah, you know how it is with Brian. He's always working on something, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he's going to, to put out something up there. He will tell you about it, but. Uh, yeah, I can hear you both without no, no issues. left behind Ohana that's what that really means <laughs> don't leave your radios cameras poles lines don't leave it up on the mountain people
Um, just got back to the car, completed the uh, Via Haas activation. Um, yeah, I guess my the biggest, most difficult part of this thing is descending through that through the boulder fields. And it's almost easier to go up than it is to come down over those things because you really have to watch every single step. It's kind of jarring to your knees and everything else, but uh, it's not a long hike. It took me 50 minutes to get down, um, hour and 20 to get up. I stopped a couple of times. Somebody um, gave me a call and I stopped and talked to some guys. Pretty much coming down, didn't stop. Uh, didn't need to. So, um, good activation. Uh, you might notice something on my upper lip. Hmm. Yeah, so a couple things. I was uh, wrenching on my bike last week and and uh, uh, on my knees and kind of the wrench slipped. I went forward and banged my mouth right into a tool, tool cabinet. Uh, so that hurt. And I went down to urgent care, got a couple stitches, so wasn't really able to shave it. So I thought, well, I'll just let it grow out for a while. And it's uh, one of those, how white can you get? Stitches are out and it's healing. Uh, I got some scabs up there, so still, still not going to run a razor over it. Um, but yeah, there's that story. So I'm going to load up, go get something to eat, get ready to burn some meat on the, the altar of, of goodness. So I'll say 73, and uh, let's see what else we can get done this week. Should be fun. 73.